Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have something interesting for you today. Now, we got two different boxes here with two different quadcopters. One of them, uh, the original, <laughs> and one the copy. Let's go over what they are. First off, let's take them out of the box. Uh, this is the JGRC H37. It comes in a box very similar to the quadcopter that it is imitating, which is the Zero Tech Dobby. <laughs> very similar quadcopters. Uh, but the way that's being marketed, but very uh, different in what they can do. Uh, this is again is the Zero Tech Dobby. Uh, this is a GPS quadcopter that uh, has follow me mode, um, has 1080p camera, um, has acoustic sensors, has optical sensors. Uh, just a pretty neat quadcopter. This is the JJRC H37 though, which this is uh, trying to imitate the Dobby. Now the H37. Keep in mind, is a $40 quadcopter, and the Dobby, I believe, is around $300. Uh, so don't expect to be getting the same thing as a Dobby with his quadcopter. If you just go ahead with the, the assumption that this is not going to be, do the same things that the Dobby can do, then you'll be okay. Keep in mind, it's a $40 quadcopter. Um, the JJRC H37, as you can see, is a foldable quadcopter that you can fold up and put in your pocket if you wish and take with you. It's controlled via Wi-Fi, similar to the Dobby. Um, however, it does not have the same features as the Dobby. There is no GPS, there is no optical scanner, there is no acoustic sensor to help it land. Um, other than that, it's just a basic Wi-Fi controlled quadcopter. But it does come with a camera. Now, the Dobby has an HD camera. This is not HD. Um, no matter what you see it advertised as, it is not. It's just plain old VGA camera, 640 by 480p, I believe, resolution. That can be stretched into 720p to simulate uh, 720p. But the way it's recorded onto my phone and downloaded from my phone, it is only, again, 480p camera. Um, the camera is tiltable though, so you can tilt it up or tilt it down. Um, we are going to tilt it down since we're going to be uh, demonstrating the um, follow me feature of this. And the way you follow me is you manually fly it with you. And we'll, let's go into that right now. It has an on off switch on the top that you press quickly to, to start it up and then you can control it via Wi-Fi. And let's go do that right now. I'm going to start up the, the quadcopter by pressing its on off switch. And we are going to put the quadcopter on the ground and point it in that way to set the headless mode direction. It does have headless mode. And the next thing we're going to do is we have to start up its Wi-Fi app. Now the app that comes with this, or that they advertise using with this, is JJRC. But the JJRC app did not work very well with me. And what I recommend you use instead is an app called uh, Wi-Fi UFO. And we'll go right into that here shortly. Okay, I've started Wi-Fi UFO. Again, Wi-Fi UFO, not uh, JGRC. And, I'm hit, and this is already connected via Wi-Fi. You've got to do that before you start up this app. And then I'm hitting the play button. And we see we have the um, uh, video. And I'm going to select 60% rate since we got a little bit of wind. And I also recommend that you fly this in altitude hold mode, which is this button here. And also that you turn on the gyros for G-sensor control. Then hit the setting button and select headless mode for controlling the quadcopter. Wait a minute, i got to move the Mobizen button out of the way. And make sure that we are headless mode selected. Okay, again we have altitude hold controls selected. Um, we have um, G-sensor click or er, connected. And we also have... Um, headless mode and then we turn on controls now again we are flying this with G sensor so all I need to do now is hit the, the uh, start button which is in the lower left corner to start the quadcopter and also I'm going to hit the record button to start the recording so recording is started and then I'm going to get a little throttle to get it into the air start it back up again give it a little throttle to get it into the air and see the G sensor is recording now, since I'm flying in headless mode, I'm going to turn this around and point it toward me. Like so. So, now, yeah, we can do follow me if you manually fly it as such. Am I showing up in the picture? <laughs> Let's set it up a little higher, too. And turn it this way. 
you get it up a little higher and turn it and I think I'm in the picture and now let's do a follow me <laughs> so what I'm doing is manually flying it at the same time as I'm directing it away from me <laughs> so that's how you could do a follow me or simulate follow me but tilting it to the right <laughs> I hope I'm showing up in this <laughs> I could check, but it's a bright sunny day, and I'm really not seeing the screen very well. But I'm assuming it's recording me. And now let's bring it back in toward me. Again, I'm just flying this very simply using uh, G-Sensor control. Okay, follow me this way now. <laughs> I'm assuming it's, again, following me. Now, all the video is being recorded directly to the phone here via the app. And again, that video, let's go this way now, is not HD. No matter what you see this advertised as, it is not HD. It's just 640 by 480 video. Okay, I think that's enough of demonstration of follow me. <laughs> again, you've got to manually fly it to, to get the follow me. But it's pretty simple, again, using the G sensor on your phone. Okay, I'm going to hit the stop on the recording. Make sure that did stop. Probably not, but we're gonna do a landing now. Hit the land button. And there you go. And now, once it lands, you have to stop it. Or you can wait about 30 seconds or just hit the stop button. And there you go. Now, let me verify that I did get that video. Yep, because it stopped recording. Okay, let's go back up in the air one more time. This time, I'm going to point the camera forward, full forward. And we're gonna manually fly it now. Okay, going back into the air, turning uh, headless mode off, and let's see what it can do. Motors are started. There's a stick blocking that one there. And hitting record. Yeah, I better hit that G sensor record control. Headless mode control. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. I highly recommend you fly this thing with headless mode. Headless mode and G sensor control because um, particularly my phone is not very good with its touch screen. But with a G sensor it's very easy to fly this. Turning it again toward me and going downfield. Let's see how far this can go. And about there. Okay, it should be recording me. Let's do a follow me from that position. <laughs> okay, follow me this way now. <laughs> so, all in all, again, if you keep in mind what this really is, you know, this is not a Dobby. It's, although it's trying to simulate being a Dobby, it is not. Just keep in mind what it is. Hold on, there goes its battery. And stop. And turn it off the video. If it was recording, I'm not sure it was that time. Hold on, stop. I guess I lost that, that video because it's not recording that. But keep in mind exactly what it is. It's not a Dobby. It's a $40 toy grade quadcopter. Um, keep that in mind. And yeah, you'll like this because it is pretty cool what it can do. You know, it's a little pocket quadcopter you can take anywhere with, anywhere with you and uh, get some relatively good 640, but although 640 by 480p video. So that's the JGRC H37. It's Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.